What is up guys, here we go again on another photography waterfall adventure. Guys, today, hopefully we're gonna go see Westcliff Falls in Hamilton, Ontario. I believe where I am right now is Lower Westcliff Falls. And unfortunately, if this little waterfall trickle here is any indication of what's to see up ahead, we're in for a bit of a disappointing surprise today because it doesn't look like there's much water flow. But we're here, we're gonna go for it. So guys, we're gonna make our way up that way there. See if we can find the waterfall. So cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys up there. This video is proudly brought to you by Manfrotto. Based in Northern Italy, Manfrotto designs, manufactures, and markets a wide range of camera and lighting support equipment for professional photographers, videographers, and creators. The Manfrotto product line includes an extensive range of camera tripods, tripod heads, lighting stands, and accessories. Click the link in the video description to shop Manfrotto's wide range of professional grade camera and video gear built to the highest standard of quality at all stages. Okay, so like I said, here we are at what would be known as Lower West Cliff Falls. There's pretty much like nothing but a slow trickle coming down but uh let's head on up and see what we can find guys Okay, quick change in plans guys because uh, from what it looks like I have a bit of a climb to go up through some rocks here. There is really no path that's been made here so I'm just going to go down there and then hike my way up and just climb over the rocks. So we're going to put the GoPro on my head and hopefully we'll find something. Alright guys, let's do it. So many rocks falling here, holy cow. something over there. All right, well, we got something here. All right, so what we found here, guys, is this is what we're actually looking for. This is Westcliff Falls. Where we came from was Lower Westcliff. And when I'm done here, we're gonna keep going up and that'll take us to Cliff View Falls. So we have three waterfalls in a row to see here. Unfortunately, again, we're not gonna see much in terms of water flow, but this is still really nice. So we're gonna check this out, guys. So let me just put this back on my head and we're gonna head down to the bottom. here very uneven these rocks not very steady sturdy okay now much like Chidoke Falls guys you can see way up top there's a pipe or there's a there's a storm drain outfall up there and this is actually fed from a ending storm drain so it's a buried river from the top of the mountain which falls down into here but also much like Chidoak it smells a lot like sewage so I'm guessing that this also contains a lot of raw sewage coming in through the pipes through the city a little bit of nastiness going on here in the water and again you can really smell it but it is a beautiful little cascading waterfall. Would be a lot nicer on a heavier flow day, that's for sure. Take a look here and you can see all the erosion over time. All the rocks that have fallen. And then take a look straight ahead there guys and there's actually another stream from what, what I'm guessing was a really heavy rain 
If you look up top, the water flows down straight, but if you look to the left, the water also flows down to the left side and comes down, comes down, and you can see it right there where all the mud has been moved and all the rocks and dirt have been moved into the pool here. So that's actually a secondary waterfall that comes down on a heavier rain flow, water flow day. It's really nice back here. It's really hidden, very secluded. And more water coming down than I thought we were going to see. And as we move down across the, the rock bed here, you can actually see how much water pours through here at certain times from the erosion on the side. And here's another giant log that's come over. And there's another big one right here that's been completely uprooted. And then it flows down here. This would be a very impressive sight to see during a heavy water flow after a big melt or a rainfall. Unfortunately, we're just here on a trickle down day. Just gonna watch my footing here. I don't wanna break my ankle. Slow and steady guys doing these waterfall adventures. Slow and steady. Don't be in a hurry. Don't move too fast. Slow and steady guys. Yeah, this has really eroded away at the earth over, over time here. Okay guys, so here's a look at where we started. I'm at the upper section of the cascade of the lower waterfall right now. Just give me a second to get around here. Yeah, so here you can see what would normally be a lower waterfall. Look up at, again, all the erosion on the walls coming by that's ripped away the grass, the trees, the roots, the sheer power and velocity of the water that would be coming down here after a heavy rainstorm or a big melt. Man, this must be awesome during that time of year. But today we're just here enjoying it, enjoying the sights. And we don't get, I mean, I wouldn't be able to stand here right now if it was a high flow day. So, so this is where Westcliff Falls comes down and then it flows down there. And then down at the bottom is actually a storm drain that will take this water into another drain system underground. So let's make our way back up to the waterfall so I can get some more footage and take some pictures before we get out of here and move on to what, the other one, what was the other one called? Cliffview Falls? Just tri tripped a little bit there. Slow and steady guys, that's what I said. West Cliff Falls is a 15 meter complex ribbon cascade waterfall found in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. This waterfall can be seen from Cliff View Park at the top of the stairs leading down to the Chidoak Golf Course.
Westcliff Falls generally has year-round water flow, except during some extended dry periods. It has a height of 15 meters or 49 feet and a crest width of 2 meters or 7 feet. It is considered a complex ribbon cascade type waterfall. During heavier flows, the waterfall widens out halfway down and then narrows down again towards the bottom, giving the appearance of a diamond in the woods against the face of the Niagara Escarpment. Westcliff Falls is one of four waterfalls contained in this cut of the Niagara Escarpment, starting with Lower Westcliff and Lower Cliff View Falls at the parking lot of the Chidoke Golf Course. Hike up some rather harsh terrain to access the two main waterfalls. While the much further up Cliff View Falls was down to a trickle for my two visits, West Cliff Falls was much more impressive and picturesque. Just a short 5-10 to 10 minute hike from the golf course and you'll hear the waterfall coming from the west. It's just a short hike up and a careful climb down and very soon you'll forget that you're in the middle of a city and feel like you're in your own tropical retreat. So we're going to move on now, guys, from this one, um, West Cliff Falls. We're going to move on and head up to, uh, what did I say it's called? Cliff View Falls. So I got to put the GoPro back on my head and we're going to make a walk up those rocks back to where we were on when we first got here and we'll head up the cliff and hopefully we'll find Cliff View Falls. So say goodbye to West Cliff Falls. See you guys in a minute. Well guys, as, uh, as I predicted, Snooze Fest 2020, because there's barely a trickle coming out of here. It is quite clear though that on a good day, you can get some pretty good water flow coming out of here. But not today, I think I need to come back when there's more rain guys. Come back the day after a big rainfall. This is a bummer, bummer town. There's an observation deck up there that you can check this out from. And here's the snooze fest. So we're not gonna spend much time here. I'll still take a few pictures and I'll still do a 360, but wah, wah, no good. Okay guys, this has been snooze fest 2020 and I'm your host Urbex Dave. I'm just kidding, but it is quite the snooze fest here. I am going to come back. I'm going to watch the weather and I'm going to come back during a heavy rainfall and come back the next day. So hopefully 
I'll have more footage to add to this video with a heavier water flow from all three waterfalls across these three waterfalls in a row. So, if the video ends up being a snooze fest, I never ended up getting here before the heavy rain. If it's not, and we get to see some more water on the waterfalls, bonus. So this has been Cliff View Falls in Hamilton, Ontario, Lower West Cliff Falls and Upper West Cliff Falls, all three in one. So now guys, we're gonna walk back and I'm gonna head back down to Lower West Cliff Falls because I didn't get much footage of that from the lower part. Take some pictures of that and then we're gonna wrap this one up. So a few more minutes to go guys and we'll be out of here. So I'll see you guys down there. So check this out as I'm walking down the, uh, what would be the riverbed, you got all these downed trees that have fallen. They make like these little foot bridges to go across. If the water was, if the water was flowing really heavy, these would be like a foot bridge to walk across. But it's pretty cool to be down on the bottom of the riverbed, the rock bed, where there should be water flowing and to be walking underneath these trees that have fallen down. So this one was obviously right there and it's fallen all the way down and landed on that. You can see where the roots were, where it came out from. And then this one, watch my footing here. This one fell from over there and dropped this way. So I would be underwater right now on a, after a heavy thaw or rain. And here you can see where the water diverts to the left and to the right around this rock right here. Man, the mosquitoes are so bad down here. Could have something to do with the raw sewage coming out of the water. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna keep going. I'll check in if we see anything neat. So here's something, if you have a look right here, it does look as though there is a occasional water flow coming down this rock face down here. And here is also what would be another small waterfall from the stream. And there's the bottom of the pool where the waterfall would have gone. So again, if we had the uh, benefit of water at this waterfall, there would be water flowing right here and it would sound nice and it would look nice, but instead, it's just dried up rocks. Oh. Yeah, so that would be made by the water flowing down over the years and years and years and chipping away and eroding away at the rock bed. Okay, moving on guys, moving on. So check this out guys, look at the ripples in this rock right here. Obviously no water, as I keep saying, but when you do have a heavy water flow, you can see the ripples in the rocks. And this one rock right here caused by the water coming over and constantly flowing down. And then there's the pool and the hole created by the constant rushing of the water. You can see all kinds of cracks in the rock down there from years and years of erosion. And then all these rocks that have fallen over time. So we're almost there guys. We're probably about five minutes away from the lower West Cliff Falls. Booyah.
Here we are, guys, back down here. All right, and here we are at the trickling down of Lower West Cliff Falls, Lower Cliff View Falls. So what you have down here is a sort of confluence of two different waterfalls that come together into this riverbed. And I'll show you where it goes from there. So right here is where I just came from, from the Cliff View Falls. And that's all that we've got is that little bit of flow right there. And our first waterfall we were at today is Upper West Cliff, and this is coming down from there. So again, you have two different waterfalls, both fed from an underground storm drain pipe, creating a waterfall, natural river through the ravine, and then down here, and then all the water from here flows down there on the left into a storm drain system that goes further underground into the city of Hamilton. <laughs> Probably comes out somewhere else. Maybe even creating another waterfall somewhere. Beautiful scenery, regardless of the fact that there's very little water coming. Okay guys, that wraps this one up. I've had enough, had enough of no water, but I've had a, I had a good hike and I got some good exercise today. Got a little bit of scrapes and bruises on my calves from all the rocks, but otherwise I'm okay. So hopefully I was able to get back to this waterfall at the current time that I'm filming this, there's very little water flow. Hopefully between now and the date that I post this video, I'm able to come back after a rain flow, after a rainfall and get some better footage. So let's cut it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for always being here. A few things I'd like to ask of you. Number one, hit that like button. Number two, drop me a comment down below. Tell me where in the world are you watching me from? Number three, share this video if you can. Number four, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Help to grow my channel. Go back and catch up on my older stuff. Watch my new stuff and wait to see what else I have to come, such as more abandoned stuff, more time lapses, more astrophotography, and of course, much more waterfalls. Okay, guys, I gotta get home. I need a cold beer. I need to get some pizza in me or something. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. Time to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.